We got a request from one of our uh, subscribers who really wants to see more about vegetarian cooking. So we don't actually cook very different at home than we do in the van. We still do a lot of one pot meals at home. I do like to cook in a cast iron skillet and we use a cast iron skillet for 90% of what we cook. Cast iron skillet, uh, we've got a flat skillet here that we can do toast and grilled cheese and, and um, you know, we, there are a lot of things we can do on that. And then we also have the deep skillet that we do a lot of one pot meals in. And so we're gonna talk about a few of the things that we do uh, to cook w using vegetables. One of the primary rules of thumb that we use when cooking with vegetables is to use a variety of vegetables and to use, to basically eat half of whatever we eat in our diet as vegetables. This morning, I happened to have a couple of potatoes in here, which potatoes are, are arguably one of the lower uh, nutritional value vegetables, but we really like them. <laughs> and um, we have some here and they need to get eaten. So I'm gonna start with uh, potatoes this morning. Uh, we're gonna have some fried potatoes and then I'm gonna mix up some vegetables, saute some vegetables and mix them with eggs. So we'll have eggs and potatoes for breakfast. To cook potatoes, I typically cook them at a little bit higher temperature than I do uh, other vegetables and the reason for that is because it's really nice uh, uh, to have the potatoes browned. So um, I've heated up the pan and um, there's a little oil in here, I'm going to add a little bit more. Heat up the pan, heat up the oil, add the potatoes. A lot of people like to cook. Uh, especially vegetarians, but most people like to use onions and garlic as kind of a basis for most meals. And what I have found uh, is that my body particularly doesn't really do that well with onions. And I love garlic, but garlic gives me gas big time. And so I minimize the amount of onion and garlic that I use, but in sauteed potatoes and, and fried potatoes, onions and garlic uh, really add a nice flavor. So I'm putting the potatoes in first and letting them start to brown. Um, because I'm cooking them in a higher heat, I wouldn't want to put the onions in with them anyway. Uh, so I want these to brown before I add any onions and garlic or vegetables. I'll add them to the potatoes after I turn the potatoes a couple times and make sure they're nice and brown because the onions will burn at this high heat. The potatoes are starting to brown in places and they're looking really nice. And I have this heat on medium to medium low now because this cast iron skillet uh, really absorbs the heat and once it gets hot, it really browns well. Another thing I'd like to say about a cast iron skillet is a cast iron skillet is a really nice non-stick surface. I think there's, there are some beliefs out there that if you use cast iron, you can't clean your pan or it will ruin the seasoning on it. Um, I found that that's not true. You can clean, you can wash your pan with soap and water if you need to, but it is important after you do that that you re-season the pan by heating it up a little bit and adding just a little teaspoon of oil, rubbing it into the uh, metal and then letting it cool. The pan really acts as a non-stick pan, but you don't get any of the Teflon and all that stuff that they put in non-stick pans. Um, it's, they're just so nice to work with, but they are a little heavy, keep you strong. Now the potatoes are nice and browned, so I'm adding some onions. I'll let those start to cook and I've turned the heat down to low because I don't need to brown the onions. I just want them to more caramelize and cook. I'm just going to add one clove of garlic here and garlic does really well when it is bruised. Um, you, can, you can either skin the garlic clove and put it through a garlic press. That works really well. Or what I do is typically I will just um, cut the ends of the garlic bolt clove and just 
give it a little bit of a pound there just to loosen up the skin off of it. Then the skin will peel. And that all gets thrown away. Put in the compost where we use it to feed our gardens. And then I'll actually give it a good smash and then cut it up. And that really brings out the flavor of the garlic. For these potatoes, I'm going to add some uh, diced red bell peppers also, which I think adds a nice flavor and makes it a little bit more interesting than just potatoes. And then I will add uh, maybe a little bit of cumin and some salt and pepper. And they'll be good to go. While the vegetables are cooking in those potatoes, I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, break some eggs in a bowl and mix that with a little salt and pepper. Three eggs is plenty for us. Rather than using milk in the eggs, I just use a little bit of water and that helps the eggs puff up and become really fluffy. Um, I really enjoy that. So I'm just transferring the potatoes to a bowl. I'm going to put those in the oven and keep them warm while I do the eggs. So using the same pan while it's hot, I'm going to add a little oil. So we've got some broccolini and some yellow summer squash I'm going to put in there. And since we've got peppers in the potatoes, I think that'll be enough vegetables. So I've let this cook for about six minutes. That seems to be about the right amount. And I'm gonna open it up, see if it's done. Oh, look at that, it's beautiful. I'll give it another 30 mm. seconds. I heated the oven to about 250 degrees and put the potatoes and the bowl in the oven and turned the oven off. So they're just in there staying warm. Added a little avocado. And now put some potatoes on the plate and serve it to Christina. So I'm one of those that likes ketchup on my potatoes and my eggs too. Everything. He likes it on everything. <laughs> I like ketchup. <laughs> Sorry. You don't have to apologize. Welcome to Clarity Off Grid. We're Matt and Christina. We live off the grid in our self-sustaining home in the mountains of Colorado. And when we aren't working on projects here at home, we're traveling in our Ram Promaster van that Matt converted into a sweet home on wheels for us and our two dogs, Jesse and Lily Bell. Join us as we share living off the grid during the cold and snowy winter months and traveling to new and exciting places. Leave us a comment, introduce yourself, or just say hi. We'd love to know what kind of information you'd like about off-grid living and traveling. If you like this video, make sure you let us know by clicking the like button. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking the red subscribe button and ringing the bell to make sure you get notified when we upload new videos. It is a cool 14 degrees outside and it's 71 in the house with all of the sunshine just coming in the house. We've been home for a couple of weeks now but we haven't taken care of the sheets in Clarity, our van, and uh, it's a beautiful sunny day today. We're cranking out the power so it's a perfect day to get that extra load of laundry done. We're gonna go help Matt strip the bed get him started because we have an invitation to go for a walk with our friend in town. Hand me the laundry I'll take it in. <laughs> you guys are staying in. Come on.
just finished a really nice walk with the dogs. It's really brisk. It's 14 degrees outside, but with the sun shining, we are almost overheating walking up the hill. But we had a nice walk, put the dogs in the house because we got a call from a friend inviting us for a walk in town and we just don't want to give up that opportunity to spend some time with our friends, especially when we're in town. I feel just so fortunate that we're out here. Like we're right in town and we have this beautiful park that we can walk in. There's bouldering, trails all over the place. And it's really, really nice. <laughs>